So I believe we are just about to do shadows. Gotta get there first, obviously, but I think we'll do shadows, probably ROM, and then... Oh, I don't want to do that. If I do shadows and ROM, then I gotta do ROM almost immediately in the chalice. Hmm. Don't think there's any way we're escaping that one. I guess that's what we're doing. Because I th Lower Hander Tomb is done, so the next chalice would be Lower Tomb and Labyrinth. That's the one with ROM. Doubling up on ROM, I guess. Ow. Why do the guys in the the Oil River do so much damage? What the hell? They're insane. Not cool to shoot cannonballs at people, buddy. Let that be your lesson. The only thing I hate about this transformation is that now that whistling sound or whatever it is, it just doesn't go away. It's always here. <laughs> it's a cool transformation. I just wish it was quieter. Hopefully Shadows isn't that bad. I always have a rough time with this fight in New Game Plus, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Kind of nice that we're like already in the DLC, though. You know, because we're a little ahead of the end game at this point. That feels good. Although I still have to do the research hall run. <laughs> I always get very confused there. But hopefully in the next hour we'll be done with the uh like half of halfway done with the chalices. Depends on how these next two bosses go though. And then I still need what do I need for ritual blood four? I need a lot more, well. I have seven and I need I think eighteen. I don't even know if I can get that. I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably have to get some of it in like the either the defiled chalice or ailing horn. Good thing I got the elevator. Jesus Christ. I mean it's business. At least my echoes are right here, not on the dude. I mean, it's 14k, it's not like it's that much, but still, it helps. Does the gun just magically get put on my... It does, it magically gets put on your, uh, your hip. <laughs> That's funny, when you transform. You actually, you pick it up, and you go back to the normal state, but then it just, like, randomly appears on your hip. Well, you, it looks like you pick it up. It's hard to tell, because there's, like, smoke. You can't really see it that well. Just, 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 I'm, I'm gonna die. I, that was way too aggressive. I don't know what I was thinking there. I wasn't really thinking, to be honest. Don't roll off the elevator! Why did I do that? Because jump is tied to roll in this game. Oh, well, echoes are gone now. I love how you can just tra chain the, uh... Transform attacks. That's one thing we need to see again. Like, I would love to get transform attacks back in some from soft game. Doesn't even matter what the game is. Doesn't have to be Bloodborne related at all. Finish your Elden Ring DLC run? You mean like the, the run your character for the DLC? What kind of build did you run? Oof, God, that damage is disgusting. Just had my health nuked. Did a poison slash rod build and the surprise was so good. Yeah, I feel like there's probably not much that it's not, uh, those things aren't strong against. Did jump, almost jump out the window trying to find Malekith. <laughs> Good old Malika. I don't know that I like this moveset more than the... Oops. Than the original, but... It is cool that it's a thing. Spent three hours on a boss I've killed five times already. I mean, sometimes that happens. I 
Happens with me and Shadows of Yarnum. Sometimes I spend far too long in this boss and I beat him a bunch of times. Uh oh, just do an R1. I'm dead. Oh, he didn't do the... Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to do the Flame Breath attack. And kill me with it. Dude, come on. Out of nowhere. No, flame breath, flame breath. Ugh, it's the worst, dude. It's when you when you start like an attack and then you see him doing it and you can't do anything. It just feels so awful. Oh. Excited for the DLC, bought the collector's edition, and ended up getting the helmet. Yeah. So what's this helmet? I think you mentioned it before. All right, that helped. Whoa, stop. Who's making it though? Is it, is it Bandai Namco's making it? All right, well, I probably should've gone for the other guy. Ten, ten vials. Oh my god, dude. It should not be able to go through the obelisk. Like, that sucks. And a gravestone, I guess. It's not really an obelisk. Oh my god, stop. This fight sucks. I'm gonna die to probably like a s stretchy arm. I need to kill the guy that's throwing the fire because if he dies, at least don't have to worry about him. Just the other guy now. Now I'm dead. Oh my god, I lived. Runs got cheaper? They did. For now, anyway. They're, they're fluctuating. They're ever fluctuating. Oh, come on. How did it miss? Just hit him! Like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, we're fine. Once you get him in that loop, it's like such a relief. With slower weapons, it's a little hairy because you can maybe miss a hit. You might be in trouble. But uh, this is not slow. Vitality or strength or endurance? 
Uh, we'll do Vitality. I don't know how much it's really going to help, though. Can grab some vials here. Then we got Rom. And then more Chalices. So I think this Rom is harder than Chalice Rom. Like, New Game Plus Rom is harder than Chalice Rom. So we'll see how much, uh, how many hits it takes to kill these spiders. Hopefully, like, two. Alright, no Call Beyond, please. Good. I still don't know why the, uh, the NPC here does not climb a ladder. No time to hit him. We must kill Rom. All right, two hits, that's good. Because two hits are quick. I wonder if I can do like an L2 or an R2 and kill them. Oh my god, I hate that attack. That attack you get like, you just can, you get completely stuck. All right, the L2 is the scream, forgot. Oops, wrong side. Get back here. Stamina. I think it's definitely a damage buff. I can't tell if it's a damage buff or if that's because of the uh, beast meter. Honestly, I don't really know. Uh oh, that was a one shot actually on that one. Dude, are you kidding? Ah, uh, I mean, I had the mirror's almost full, but I don't know. The spiders just hurt. I'm not that surprised, really. It just sucks. Oh, Jesus. Tired of fighting these spiders. One hit there. Intimidation. I legitimately have no idea if the scream does anything besides build the beast meter up. Rom? Wait, what? Oh, because it skipped phase two? Hmm. I'm just gonna go after Rom, I don't even care. Might be a bad idea, though. Holy spiders, <laughs> there's so many. Sea of spiders here. Does that even build the beast meter? I don't think it does. I never have like damage anywhere near this good, so. I feel like it's okay to go after Rom here, except there's like 20 spiders on that side of her. Spiders just die. Thank you. Ugh, all right, where, uh, where's the queen? Way over here. 
so let me get the uh, thing here, and then we'll go to Chalice's lower Tumerian Labyrinth. Let me throw this down first. Nine Ritual Blood, perfect. Then we'll level, then we'll buy vials, and then we will do chalices. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, probably just good to go strength, honestly. Let me see if I can pop something for one more level. Probably can. Can cold blood, maybe frenzied cold blood. 5k, I need like 2,000 more. Okay, a little more. Uh, I didn't want to pop the kin cold blood. Actually, I think I might be able to sell the dulcet. I don't think I ever sold that. Actually, that might be enough. Let me see. Wow. Can't need like 400. Not gonna sell the dulcet yet. Actually. 21, 28. Yeah, that wouldn't give me a full level. Sell this. I'm not using the top hat at this point. We'll do more strength. And lower Tumerian Labyrinth awaits. So I need to get another, what did I say for Ritual Blood? Like 11? I actually never ended up finishing this dungeon before because we, we only had to do the first three bosses. So I never did Bloodletting Beast, didn't have to. Because there was no point in going to get the Defiled Chalice when we were trying to get the Beast Claw because I didn't need to go there. But the first three bosses I fought, I fought Merciless Watchers twice. I mean, if you count every time I fought them, I fought them one, two, three, four times already. Yeah, I think four. So this will be the fifth Merciless Watchers fight. Two of them were like, you know, death one. So they were pretty easy. These guys were rough, though, going through a new game. Just very long fights. It should be a lot better. Whoa, I somehow did not get hit by that. <laughs> I like went in between the, uh, the shots there. That was crazy. I, think, I didn't even know you could do that, to be honest. Yeah, so no Ritual Blood 4 in this layer. I think the next layer has one. Maybe two, I don't know. It has some. Damn. Can't stagger him, unfortunately. Yeah, they go down much more easily than they did in New Game, which, which is not surprising considering I'm not at like level 30 something or whatever it was. They do hurt, though. One's almost dead, the other one's almost halfway to dead. Then the third one is the nasty one, the one with like the saw. Now, one of you needs to come over here. Preferably alone. Oops, that was a bad roll. Now, of course that missed. <laughs> Damn it, man. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I think what hurts me here is they just don't stagger at all. Is that not a is there not a running R2? There it is. Last guy. There's no charge dart too, which is kind of a bummer. A little too aggressive maybe in this fight, but that's okay as long as it works.
close at times. I gotta go back to the hunter's dream. I gotta get more vials to replenish these vials. I used way too many. Undead giant next. This actually should be a pretty good weapon for her. undead giant. It's quick, which is ideal. Why am I? Why am I talking to you? I don't need to talk to you. I just need to do chalices. Habit, I guess. So there's only one ritual blood for here, and I know where it is. It's in the chest on the other side of that door. Now I need to remember how the heck you get to the switch. Gel. Where's the ladder? Over here? Numbing mist? Numbing mist. Do not need. Yo, chill. So we need to go this way. And up here, and I think back through... I think it's this door. This is like the third time I've done this now. You would think I would know. Third time this run. I do it on every run, but this is the third time this run, specifically. The Chalice Dungeons, the lands just never stick with me. Some of them do, but they just, they're so repetitive, it's hard to remember what's what. Because all the patterns are the same. Or all the rooms are the same. So the patterns, you kind of mix up with each other. That still hurts, turns out. Yeah, counter hit. <laughs> At least it doesn't one-shot me this time. I'm being very greedy. I also don't have the same poke I had on the, uh... Oh, really? I don't have the same poke I had on the Kirk camera. Oh yeah, it's a grab. Weapon at risk. Okay, that's fine. We can get through this fight at least. Hopefully. Jesus, what a kick! More damage. Let's get back to the Hunter's Dream, we'll repair this thing. So one thing with the cost parasite that I, I got so used to is not having to repair it. Because the durability on that thing is insane. Actually, I might as well just get this Ritual Blood real- Yeah, I'll wait. I'll just go repair this first. The Ritual Blood's like, straight ahead. Alright, repair Beast Claw. I'm gonna repair all these just because they're cheap and I want them out of here. And then Arcane Haze. Don't need this. Don't need this. One? Oh, I only have one. Ritual Blood 5 I need, Ritual Blood 4 I need, 2 Mold I don't need. And that's probably enough. Old Blood Flower but I need. I don't know if I need that. Living String I definitely need. Yeah, Sage's Wrist can go. Yellow Backbone can go. Okay. Back here. Mm, where is it? Here? See how much damage we do to this thing. Ah, oh, I was hoping it would die in one hit. With a built beast meter, it might. We'll see when we get to the fight. So yeah, there's only one ritual blood one, four rather, not one. Only one on this layer, and then the rest are. I think there's like six or something on layer four. 
This way. Alright, and then this way. How much richer blood for do I have now? Ten. I think I need eight more. I actually don't know how many you need for Alien Lore and plus the Defiled Chalice, but I'm guessing it's nine each, because the Depth 5 is nine each. In this um, this set, Lower Timurian Labyrinth is nine, so I imagine both Depth Fours are nine. Either way, I'm going to need more. There's no way I won't. I know it's nine for Alien Lore, at least. I think. I'm pretty sure it's nine. Eight or nine. Okay, we are one-shotting these guys. That's good. Honestly, I would consider going after Rom here, but this just feels like a much tighter space. And these things get killed in one hit, so I'm just going to end up killing them anyway. Alright, Rom. There's Rom. Oh, already in phase three. Same thing happened that happened in the actual fight. I might just go after Rom here then. Again. Uh-oh. Spiders just launch themselves in the air and you don't know where they're going to land. Scary. Alright, last layer of this. Go! Go forward! Yeah, there's only five Ritual Blood for here, actually. Not as much as I thought. But I think it's pretty spread out. So the lever is to the right. Then we have to go halfway across the world to get to the Ritual Blood. Chill, man. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Yeah. And I gotta go through, like, another three rooms. <laughs> it's so far away. And then I think there's one more after the blue door. So what do we do after this? I guess we could do amygdala. Amygdala and one reborn, maybe. All right, so I need this chest. And then that one. Or, yeah, just don't pick it up. It's fine. I, I hit X. It, it didn't pick up. Only going to be a problem if I die, which, of course, I did. Oh, I don't know, I might skip it for now. The problem is that one is three Ritual Blood. Like, the one I picked up was just one. I think I'll go get it. The one, I, I can skip another one. There's another one in the room on the right, and I'll probably skip that one. This one's just so far away, though. Is it here? I think it was, yeah, the next room. Yeah, I'm not killing this guy. I was going to, but then one hit did, like, nothing to him, so we're just gonna move on. Actually, ah, it's fine. I, the, the Ritual Blood, the other Ritual Blood's not where I thought it was, but it's not a big deal. I don't need it. The other Ritual Blood was probably, like, right below that room, or, like, not right below that room that we were just in, but, like, close to it. If you drop down off those bridges, it's off a side path. But it's fine. Bloodletting Beast. Maybe I'll go back for it if I beat this guy here. Ow. The grab, oof. I can't even hit him. Like, half these attacks just whiff.
I feel like since switching to the Beast Embrace Rune, or since putting it on, like, the attacks are just harder to land. Actually did more damage than I thought it would. Alright, let's go. I guess I'll just go get the ritual blood real quick. Defile chalice unlocked. You don't get the ch you can't get these chalices twice, right? You can only get them one time. Well, this is only the first time I've gone through this one, but I was just thinking for like the depth of one and two stuff. Mm, this way, this way. Dude, I hate these spiders so much. They do so much more damage than they have any right to deal. Okay, so from here... Uh, where are we going? This is not right. I think it's the other way. This way? Uh, here? And left. Oh yeah, this room. I remember this room. Ritual blood for... Get me out of here. Away from these spiders, please. Then we can go back to the Hunter's Dream. I think we can set Ailing Lauren. Should have everything for it. Ailing Lauren, yep. What does the... The filed chalice cost? Probably more ritual blood than I have. Yeah, it's nine. I figured it was. Bastard Lord and get to those right here, hopefully. So we'll have those. I'll get some vials and then... What did I say? One reborn? Or amygdala? Maybe one reborn then amygdala. Because I haven't been to the lecture hall. Yeah, so we'll do one reborn. Go here. 